In today's video, we're going to walk through the servicestack.blazor components library and the support built in for dark mode, and how you can add this to your next Blazor server or Blazor WebAssembly application. The servicestack.blazor components library has a growing list of great looking and useful Blazor components that are easy to use and integrate with your servicestack services. These components also include support for dark mode out of the box using Tailwind. And adding dark mode support to your own Blazor components is made easy thanks to Tailwind and the dark mode toggle component that's already pre-configured in the Blazor server and Blazor Tailwind templates. For example, by using the dark mode toggle component in a heading of your application, we can present a simple toggle to users to switch your application and any of the service stack blazer components between light and dark mode. Controlling the experience of each is controlled by the Tailwind CSS dark variant, which changes the way elements are presented when your application is being viewed in dark mode. And since the Service Stack Blazor Tailwind components support Blazor Server and Blazor WebAssembly hosting methods, you can kickstart your next Blazor application using one of our templates regardless of your choice of building a Blazor Server or WebAssembly application. As a concrete example, we're going to create a new Blazor Server application using the Blazor Server template. We can do this by either using the servicestack.x tool with the command x new blazor server space myapp or by downloading one of our templates from the servicestack.net forward slash blazor page. Navigating to servicestack.net forward slash blazor, we have the blazor server template under the create a new blazor app section. Providing a name and downloading the zip file, we can extract the contents to a local working directory and open the solution with your favorite.net IDE. Running the application, we will be greeted with a blazor server application with instructions on using the template as we scroll down. To use the other pages in the example application, we will want to initialize our database by running the command npm run migrate from the main app host project directory. We can switch between dark and light mode as we navigate the different pages already set up in the template. We have grids of data with create and edit forms in the bookings and coupon pages, as well as a simple to do application all set up to use dark mode to show how some of the service stack blazer components can be used. Taking a look at the code for the coupons page, we can see to get all this functionality is just one component which is integrated with a specific auto query service. We get full create, read, update, and delete functionality, all with dark mode support, including filtering, validation handling, and more. Opening the code to the bookings page, we can see the use of the same auto query grid component, but this time showing some of the different ways we can customize the grid UI and integration to have more control over the user experience. We still have dark mode support and can customize parts of the grid using child render fragments for more control. To have a look at the other Blazor components in the servicestack.blazor library, we can use either of the hosted Blazor gallery sites at blazor-gallery.servicestack.net, which runs Blazor server, or blazor-gallery.jamstacks.net, which runs the Blazor WebAssembly version. Both these deployed projects have the same deployed UI code, so if you decide you need to switch from Blazor Server to Blazor WebAssembly or run both, these components can use the same UI code for both hosting methods. Starting with the auto query grid component examples, we have the contacts page. The first code example gives us a full create, read, update, and delete functionality just using the default one line integration to a backing auto query service. The data model for the contacts page and related request DTO properties can be annotated with c -sharp attributes for additional functionality, such as file upload, changing input type, and additional styling. The second contacts metadata example uses a custom columns child fragment to have more control over how each column is presented in the grid. All the child components of the grids, including the create and edit forms, also support dark mode, so we get consistent visuals by default, even with our customizations. 
Moving on to the data grid component, which is visually the same as the auto query grid component, but it can be used with any data source by binding a list of objects to the items attribute on the component. This will dynamically create columns for visualizing your data in a grid, just like the auto query grid, and you can use the columns again to customize how the data is presented. Then we have auto forms components, which are an easy way to bind your service stack API endpoints to a visual form in Blazor. Input controls are dynamically created based on the types in the specified request DTO and optional attributes like the input attribute. All the dynamically created inputs also support dark mode, meaning we can get Blazor server or Blazor WASM forms for any compatible service deck service that looks great in dark mode with minimal effort. This same support also applies to the auto edit form, which also supports an optional delete operation, giving us the full create, update and delete functionality with just two configured components binding to their respective services. If you need more control over your forms, you can use the input components directly, such as text, select, date time, and text area input among many others, which all support dark mode by default. Validation errors also populate down to the individual input components, so your server validation can be completely reused in your Blazor application. This validation binding also applies to the auto forms components as well, creating more reusability of your services, giving you more time to streamline your Blazor application. Another great customizable component that works well with dark mode is the built-in autocomplete component. You can use it in different ways and it's easy to maintain that consistent dark mode styling. And when it comes time to build your own Blazor components to meet your requirements, you can use the standard Tailwind approach using the Dark CSS variant name, which responds to the same Dark Mode toggle component, making it easy to integrate your own Dark Mode support that mixes in with the Service Stack Blazor components. Dark Mode is becoming an expected feature on modern web applications, and it can be time consuming to support without proper tooling. The growing servicestack.blazor library has a range of components that will integrate with your servicestack services for your next Blazor project while giving you a clear way forward with Tailwind to support dark mode in your own Blazor application. Well that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the servicestack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.